So let's look at how we would go about creating a box plot on the uh, TI Inspire. Um, the first thing that you want to do is say you have a set of data, you want to uh, go to the Excel um, uh, app, and I guess you call it an app, but you go to there so you can enter your data in. So just hit enter. First thing you want to do is name it. Uh, we'll name it data. And it's just going to be made up data. I don't really have any actual data. Um, so let's say we're, we're uh, measuring um, the bags of potato chips, uh, 28 grams average. So 28, uh, 25, I'm just randomly. Uh, coming up with numbers here 26 and uh, remember that uh, notice that I labeled my uh, uh, column first before I started putting the data I have found that um, if you don't label it it doesn't save if you don't label it first so always be sure to put your uh, named column first and then go ahead and start entering your data um, just to be on the safe side. It's happened a couple times, uh, not always. All right, so once you have your data in, you're good to go. You want to go back to your home screen. There's other ways you can do this, of course, but this I feel is the quickest. And then go to your um, data and statistics uh, uh, tab, which is the pink tab right next to the Excel, and hit that. And here you have your data all scattered out again, just like it was for the histogram, if you watch that video. And what you want to do here is put your data, again, on the x-axis. This is um, just a single set of data. You could have um, multiple um, variables that you could be plotting. But And since I only have one to choose from, which is data, we choose it and enter it. And uh, so there's your dot plot. And then just go back to your menu and choose plot type. It's the top one right there. And hit uh, enter. And choose uh, uh, You can see that uh, dot plot, it's already in a dot plot, so you wouldn't choose that. You can also do the histogram there too, but now we want to do the box plot. And it will make it for you. And there you go. I hope um, that was helpful, and thanks for watching.